In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for BaCl2 plus H2SO4. This is barium chloride. This is sulfuric acid. So the first thing we need to do is to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation up here, and it looks like all we need to do is put a 2 in front of the hydrochloric acid. That balances the molecular equation. So we've got that. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. So our barium chloride here, chlorides are very soluble, so we're gonna write AQ after that. That means it's gonna dissolve in water, it's gonna dissociate into its ions. This is gonna be aqueous. Sulfuric acid's a strong acid, it'll also dissociate into its ions. And in this ionic equation, we're assuming that this is gonna completely dissociate into its ions, and this reaction here is gonna to go to completion. Barium sulfate though, sulfates are often soluble, but occasionally they aren't, so we should probably look that up and here's a solubility table to help us with that. So on our solubility table, we find barium right here, and then we're looking for sulfate, which is over here. So we go down and then across here, and we see this I right here for barium sulfate. That I means it's insoluble. It's not gonna dissolve. So it's gonna be a solid because it didn't dissolve. It's sitting at the bottom of the test tube like a precipitate. So we have our solid. Hydrochloric acid, HCl, that's a strong acid. That should be aqueous. That should break apart into its ion. So we have our states for this equation. Next, we're gonna split the strong electrolytes into their ions. And to do that, we need to figure out the charge. Barium's in group two on the periodic table, should so be two plus. The chloride ion is one minus. Hydrogen group one, so that's one plus. And then the sulfate ion, that's always a two minus. So these are the reactants and we have our charges. Let's split them up. We have the barium ion, Ba, two plus, and I won't write aqueous each time. We'll do that at the end. Plus the chloride ion, Cl minus, but this subscript means we have two of them. So we'll put a two in front. Then we have H plus, that's that hydrogen. We have two of those. And then the sulfate, SO4, two minus. So these are the reactants. For the products, this is a solid. This barium sulfate's a solid. So it's at the bottom of the test tube. It's not split apart in the test tube, and we're not going to split it apart in our net ionic equation. We just write BaSO4. That's a solid. And then for the HCl, we have the plus and the minus. So we'll have H plus, and we'll have two of those, plus Cl minus. And this two goes to the whole thing, so we should have two of those as well. So this is what's called the complete ionic equation, sometimes called the total ionic equation. So now we can cross out the spectator ions. These are on both sides of this complete ionic equation. So we have Ba2+, but we don't have that in the products. 2Cl- minus in the reactants and in the products, so we can cross that out. We also have 2H+, plus here in the reactants, and 2H+, plus in the products. Cross them out. That leaves us with the net ionic equation. We have the Ba2+, plus, that barium ion, the sulfate ion, and then that solid barium sulfate. So let me clean this up. I'll add the states in, and we'll have a nicely written net ionic equation for BaCl2 plus H2SO4. So this is our net ionic equation for barium chloride plus sulfuric acid. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.